around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The coach, the city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. Now, losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Two one and two teams, each hoping to get back to 500, and we're underway in week four. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. Leading them out is the former first-rounder from all the way back in 2004 from Miami of Ohio, Ben Roethlisberger. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some. They threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. So he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. First carry for James Conner. He'll have a first down past the 40. He's at the 40, 20, 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. James Conner, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, they said they wanted to have some explosive runs. How about that one to start the game? And I would say on the defensive sideline, there's a lot to answer for. Because you spend all week saying, stop the run. I don't care who you're playing. You don't want to get run over. You don't want to get run past. And they got both over committing in the secondary and he just went stepping past them and is still running essentially one play and he hits pay dirt out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away this is fielded at the goal line and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line so now here comes the eagles offense as they get ready to take over they'll be led out by their 6-5 quarterback out of north dakota state it's carson wins and the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent too they just saw a big strike against their team and you know they're thinking to themselves i can get this back right now on one play well if it's there you take it but otherwise just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense. Get things going and see how things settle in. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's the offense, and sometimes you got to show love to the big guys. That you do. And we're talking about Jason Kelsey now. Not Travis, his brother, who plays tight end. Jason lines up at center, a threat to go to the Pro Bowl each and every year. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Howard. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. 
Now Wentz on third down. And he connects with Ertz. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more. Matt. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll match up another 15 against your squad. A little bit of daylight on that first down run. Sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB. They'd easily move into the top five. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Just like that. From the gun, it's Wins. Got an open man, it's Scott. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 18. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. The first carry for Josh Adams. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Running with Howard. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Working from the gun, Wentz. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. So when you saw him dump it off to the back, did you think he was going to pick up the first down there?
Well, I knew one thing. It wasn't his primary target. At least it didn't look like it. Turned out to be the play they needed, though. And it's big because it's the opening drive. So converting that third down, keeping the play, not the play, the drive going. Yeah, certainly appeared like his downfield targets were covered. Threw a little dump off to, the, to his back. And nice effort picking up the first down, though. And you're right. The opening drive, keep those chains moving. The numbers for Howard a week ago. There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown, too. Partner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box in the sky would take those numbers. <laughs> and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Josh Adams, his first touchdown on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Second effort there, he was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. The point after is good, and we are tied at seven. The 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded at the 6. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. James Conner and the Steelers ready to get their next drive going. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in and, <laughs> and called him in and said, "Look, you're our guy. Okay, we're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games." You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as this season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Time to peek at the defensive starters. Here they are for Philadelphia. Well, they've certainly had their struggles against the run at the 30th ranked unit out of 32 teams in the NFL. The numbers are definitely not in their favor, but every time I click on the film and watch them, I see stretches where they play against the run really well. Their biggest problem, when they give up those explosive runs, those 30, 40, 50 yard runs, that'll really mess up your averages. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster. It's complete. The 20, 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Juju Smith-Schuster, his first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. 
He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and seven, Wentz. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the 45 on second down, Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 27-yard line. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. time to the 17. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. They run on second down with Adams. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Hey, empty, empty. Watch 98, watch 98, 98. Blitz now to throw, and that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. Nelson Aguilar. His first touchdown on the year. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point safely through. And we are tied at 14. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. All right, now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. 
and that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Offside defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, Still offsides, standing. easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's a second and five now after the offsides penalty. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. There are the numbers for McDonald from a week ago. Seven catches, 90 yards, and a touchdown. Better tighten up the coverage if you expect to slow this guy down, because if he gets going, he'll eat you up. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Going quickly out wide to Moore. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A huge play there on the screen pass. 51 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ready? From the Watch two now, me. second and goal. <laughs> Bend to throw again. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Two first quarter touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger as his guys are able to regain the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw, a free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy for Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Rashawn Melvin. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. 
first quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Roethlisberger, and his throw is incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time, and it's third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all, and you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they've ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. We got this. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get the confidence in it, and let him fling another one. A pretty big opening there on first down. Eight yards up to the 33. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Watch tight end, watch tight end. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Check, four down, four down. Great 15, great. They run with Howard. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Wentz to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Wentz now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. On the handoff, this is Howard. A gain of three, second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Watch tight, watch tight. Tight here right, tight here right. Two jet, two jet. I got 11, I got 11. Switch, switch that. A give to Howard. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Eagles on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time it's third and three. Let's go, let's go. Great, great. Check 
They'll try to run for it with Howard. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Ryan Quigley now to kick this one away. and inches and this is going to be nowhere go, close needed some inches and ended up losing yardage a little trickeration there but it doesn't fool them and this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42 and now this throw complete to Washington and the result here a pickup of eight leaves them with two to go on second down Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but wait, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Roethlisberger throwing complete to McDonald. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now Roethlisberger on first down. His throw incomplete. David Moore, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Check, check for the rocket. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Now it's Roethlisberger. Screen pass to Connor. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. They'll wind up getting eight, but it's not enough. Fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Then taking a gander at the NFL scoreboard in Minneapolis. Early lead in that one for the Packers. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. Jordan Howard and the rest of the offense heading back out there. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, Here we go. as Here well we as go. continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. From the 40 now on second down, Wentz looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. 
12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Wentz now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Stephon Tuitt, the one that got him down. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. This is Howard on second down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. This has been a good drive so far. It's been a running game for the most part. This powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Wentz now on first down. Buying time to his left. Yeah, he's going to keep it here. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. On second down, it's Adams. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Jordan Howard, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles get a score closer. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Five. Roethlisberger will throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hodges. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. That catch good for five. It's third down. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Forty-seven yard punt, a return of four, and the Eagles will have it, taking over first and ten. Jordan Howard and the rest of the offense heading back out there. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very strange situation. And you're right, you can't fault him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. I'm guessing he's saying, feed me on the sidelines. Now will they continue to do it? They're not ready for this. They still play soccer. Y'all playing the wrong football. From the 29, Wentz. 
He'll have a first down past the 40 as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first down a gain of 15. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Down they run with Howard. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. On second down now, it's Howard. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Wentz now on first down. Deep ball for Jeffrey. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Hey, four down, four down. Now Wentz on third down. And he comes back with one complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 28. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Wentz now hitting on two-thirds of his passes. Ten for 15 so far. First and ten. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they played the responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. The Eagles on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and 11. Shotgun now for Wentz. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's Roethlisberger. And McDonald here over the middle. 
And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? A gain of 10. Good for a Steeler first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So, line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now, Roethlisberger. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Now, the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. On third down, it's Connor. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of a yard and it brings up fourth. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will it be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'm going to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Delay of game. Offense. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. The delay of game backs him up five first and 15. A final shot before half for Wentz. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll start our tour out in the city of Angels, Los Angeles. And as you see, they were... All right, folks, eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. 
This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Throwing on second down. Wentz. It's caught by Aguilar. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. On first down, Howard. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Here we go, here we go. Let's From midfield, here's Wentz. Got him in, complete. This is Richard Rodgers. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They're really locked in on all. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. That's their first time getting to the quarterback, sack number one. And, you know, they had five last week, I'm remembering. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback. But you show them a lot of different looks, and they did that in the first half. You know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. They got to him here in the second half. Now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Wins. And he finds Howard complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 16. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Again, here's Adams. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll go to Adams, try to pound it in. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. 
Second and goal from the one. Wins hands to Adams. He breaks through another tackle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that is going to set up third and goal. Throwing his wins. The quick slant caught. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. They've really been able to contain Alshon Jeffrey. That catch a rare exception in this game. And that's a feather in their cap because he's such a tone setter for his team on offense that they try and get him the ball early. And, of course, what comes after that is often. And for them to limit him and him not catch a ball until the second half, it's a big reason why his team is behind on the scoreboard. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> On second and a couple, Roethlisberger. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And he'll score! Touchdown, Eagles! This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it, and you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is down to a field goal. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Steelers to take over on offense. They were winners last week against Cincinnati, and right now they are in the driver's seat in this ballgame as well. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. He'll try and run for it with Connor. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10 is Connor. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. 
Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On second down, it's Connor. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 18. Roethlisberger now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Open man is Switzer complete. A gain of six there on first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Roethlisberger, and they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Let's phrase this delicately, okay? Might have had a better option instead of throwing the football to double coverage. He was blanketed. I was surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down. Take the completion, keep moving. To throw again is Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Vance McDonald. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Here's Bailey now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. 